Alright guys, today I've got my uh, Nexus 7 and I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, ADB Fastboot which is a system on your PC to uh, flash a recovery system is what I'm going to go through today. So right now just so you can see what I'm dealing with here, what I'm running on this thing let's go into our settings and you can see that the tablet is on the latest build of Android right here which is 4.2.1 Jelly Bean um, and this thing does have an unlocked bootloader and is it does have a uh, root access also um, so you don't have to have root access to do this you do have to have an unlocked boot bootloader uh, if you want to know how to do that um, you can check out my other videos. I'll put all the information you're going to need on that kind of stuff down in the video description down below. Um, so, once we've got this here, um, we're going to go to our computer and we're going to set up some stuff here and I'm going to go through that with you. So let's do that. Alright guys, so now this is going to show you how to use a ADB Fastboot. This is ADB right over here. And these are the files you guys are going to need to do this. I'm going to be installing Twerp Recovery, but it is a version of Twerp Recovery. It's actually called Multi-ROM for the N7. So I'm going to be taking this image file right here, which is also over here in my Fastboot uh, setup. And we're going to be uh, Fastbooting that thing to the device. And I will go through the commands and show you how to do it. So basically what we're going to do... So you're going to take this file right here. Again, links to everything is going to be my video description. This is Android ADB Fastboot Interface. So we're going to extract it. So I hit extract all. We'll just extract it to this file right here for now. And now you have it right up here. This is the extracted version of it. So you're just going to copy it. And then you're going to paste it under C drive. This is my C drive up here on top. You can see it. And I'm just going to paste it in there. So once we got that in there, it should look like it actually I actually pasted this file is what I pasted. So it looks like ADB. So when you click on ADB and then um, you just drag your recovery image, multi-ROM recovery image, which is right here, and then you just drag and paste it into that window. So you should be under C drive, ADB, and then you should see this and you should have your recovery image in this file. Okay. Um, also, make sure you get your drivers installed correctly for your Nexus 7. If you haven't done this already, I use down here, I use this right here. This is PDA, uh, PDA Net. Uh, this has all the drivers and you can install this. Just Google it and uh, it'll give you all the drivers for your device to make it really easy for you to use. So once you have and you're at this screen, we're going to take our Nexus right here. And you actually have to make sure that you have USB debugging turned on. And to do that on this device, you're just going to go to settings. And then um, you're going to go to about. And I think you have to tap on, I think it's the Android version. No, that does that. Hang on. Build number. It's one of these. Well, basically what it does, I can't remember which one it is. It gives you, yeah, it gives you the developer settings right here. So then you have developer options on, on, on the bottom down here. And then you just go in developer options and then make sure USB debugging is turned on. You need that for ADB interface because that is what it is. It is USB debugging. So it would be Android debugging. So anyway, so we got that. You got your drivers installed. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your USB cable to the bottom of your device here. Right here and to your computer. So we'll plug that in, and then you should see, like you can see down here, my PDA.net just opened up right here and says I'm connected because my drivers are already installed. And you should see the little uh, Android debugging guy right, right there, if you can see that, on your, on your drop down here. So you should see all those things. So now you can set your Nexus down, and what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this window where you have, again, C drive, ADB installed and you have that recovery image right here and you're going to hit shift on your keyboard and then you're going to right click and then if you scroll down right here it says open command window here now that's what you want to do 
and you're going to get a window like this one right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, so once you get this window right here, the first thing we're going to do to make sure that it can see your device is you're going to type in on your keyboard ADB, so it would be ADB devices, and then hit enter. And you can see it came up with a serial number of my device. Um, so that means my device is connected. It sees that device on, on, on here. So then the next thing you want to type is you can type fast boot devices. So we'll do that one. Fast boot devices. If I can spell it right. I hit enter. Alright, just kind of test everything. And then as long as you know everything is working correctly, um, you, can, you can type in, uh, let's see here, you can do ADB commands if you want. That would be another thing you can type into this thing. ADB commands and you'll get this window it just goes through a lot of different stuff you can uh, type in here but the thing I really want to do here is you do ADB reboot bootloader so this is going to reboot your device so ADB reboot boot loader and then hit enter all right, now my device is going to go into bootloader mode. If you guys have ever seen this, the Android on its side. So when once you're in bootloader mode, it's actually pretty easy from here. Uh, what you're actually going to do is you're going to tell this thing to flash your recovery system. So fastboot flash recovery and then the name of your recovery which we copied and pasted and there you go so once you have that information in there you just hit enter and it is going to send it recovery okay writing recovery okay finish total time done so you just sent the multi-rom recovery to your device using ADB um, and your fast boot tools here all through your command window uh, totally manual, the good old way without any utilities. So kind of cool, a little fun to learn how to do this thing the old-fashioned way. Um, so that now gave you recovery, and I'm going to guys just go ahead and show you guys the recovery and finish the rest of the install of Multi-ROM uh, recovery system. So this is hold up here. Um, quick, really quick. You guys can also shut this window. You don't need it anymore. Uh, you can technically disconnect your la your Android device also. Pull the plug on that sucker. You're still in bootloader mode if you can see it. And let me show you the rest of it here. Alright, so our device is unplugged from the computer. And you're still in bootloader mode. Uh, we've shut all the windows on the computer. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to use your volume up and down. You can see these little arrows on the side and we're going to go to recovery mode and then we're going to push our power button up here and as you can see we do have an unlocked bootloader like I told you now this is going to open up multi-roms version of Torp recovery and we're going to do the last step we need to do here which is, is actually flash the multi-rom utility so um, just so you can see this it looks just like Torp recovery um, the one thing that's really different is you go to advanced and right here it has multi-ROM. So it is a little different. I'll try to go through some of the stuff with multi-ROM and how to use multi-ROM. But first we got to finish installing the interface. So to do that, we're going to um, install two files. Um, so we're going to go to installs. And we're going to go to where I put my multi-ROM stuff, which should be under multi-ROM, which is right here. And these are the two files I have, these two zips. So one of them is multi-ROM, uh, the interface, and the other one is a kernel, which is based off of stock. It's just been tweaked to run with multi-ROM. So it will replace your kernel on your device to, for the stock kernel, which is uh, 4.2.1. So let's go ahead and flash multi-ROM. Actually, let's wait on that. Let's do the kernel first. So just go ahead and flash it. You don't need to wipe anything doing this. Go back. Now let's flash multi-ROM. Just swipe across to flash that. 
and then now let's do reboot system all right now your system is going to boot up differently than normal um, you're actually going to get to the multi-rom interface screen first which is a little unusual and now you can actually pick what to boot so let me just go through this screen really quick which is just kind of neat that you can do this so right now you're set up on internal it's the only thing you have in here you haven't put any custom ROMs in so internal is highlighted if you put a different ROM in it'll have more check boxes and more stuff so internal is basically stock whatever you have on your device when you install multi ROM uh, you can actually boot stuff that's on a USB drive from this from this screen right here with where it says USB and then miscellaneous you can go into and you can copy log to SD card you can reboot you can reboot recovery reboot bootloader or shut down the device uh, so you have all those options from right here so we'll go back to internal and then it just says down the bottom right here just says boot so booting ROM internal and it's gonna boot up just like it normally does and you will be back to just your plain old stock stuff. So that is your install of multi-ROM. From here, you can do all kinds of stuff and add multiple ROMs and then boot to whichever one you want as you power up the device. So pretty cool, um, neat little application for sure. I'm, I'm definitely liking it. I'm going to be playing around with this thing on my Nexus 7 for sure. Um, hope you guys like it. If you enjoyed this little tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, as always, uh, you can subscribe down below. Check out my website right here, which is uh, rootjunkie.com. Follow me on Twitter above my thumb here or Facebook down below. Um, hope you guys like this. And uh, as always, uh, keep watching my videos, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.